up guys this is your boy Twitter here I've been asked a lot how do you actually perm a hide as an assassin and I'm going to show you how it's it's really easy it will not work on the latest bosses but yeah I think it is still pretty worthwhile so you need to reskill this just a little bit so landmine not that useful you need the sword knockdown anyway at bosses you need to get the cyclone kick up here and get the shadow drain up you need your swift step tier to get it back into another high purpose and you need this thingy right here. Now all you need is extra stacks of poison. Aside from that you don't need anything else. This is useful for getting like that extra extra cheap but aside from that this is basically all you need it is not that hard oh yeah you need your shadow dash on this thing uh, to make a six second cooldown so let me just show you guys a prime example so here I am at the tomb of exiles and to most people you would say why would you even solo stuff in this game because it's fun I love it I love being able to do stuff that other people can't so Alright, starting it off, start your hide, press your X button, get a one poison stack in, before the thing actually dies, press your one button, extend the hide with another six seconds, and now you can use your three, normally you would uh, want yourself to be in the front of the enemy, so that whenever you press your three, you will be moving to the back of your enemy, so you can hide if you need it. Now, this does not work all of the times into the video, still on 160 ping, yes I'm blaming ping I know I know I know but I want to make this happen anyway so after you're done with all the sham wow you can actually use double back or just run away like I can do right now okay this one of the lag parts yes so good now you can either use the double back or just run to the back of the enemy and I will be showing some prime examples here but just to show you how you can just get through here, let's just speed this one up till the next boss. Alright, so here's for the fast paced action. I'm not even able to commentate on all this. But just make sure you get your one button up every single time. Uh, this allows you to get there easier. And if you're in a hair situation, make sure to get like either your C button for the iframes. Or use your 2 to get back into high. There's multiple ways to do this. And the luxury of being an assassin, you can actually use yourself some some height momentum to run through this whole dungeon like I'm going to do now I was thinking this would aggro at some point but it didn't so you don't actually have to kill everything you can if you want to but the experience here from the monster is definitely not worth it so yay we got here up to the first boss same tactics used throughout the whole boss so it, it's it's not hard at any shape or form so you just gotta make sure that you just put down the hide and I will make a booboo on this little guy but he did not bother me all that much so I switched to the boss anyway so let's let's just skip it to the boss part all right so we'll get it once okay no let's just take it like a man okay I got my 3 button up, I got my X button up, press the 1 for the extra height extensions and here's where the tip comes in. Now I use my 3 and I need to run all the way to the back and that would not have been necessary if I was standing in front of his face. Double back into the 1 once again and this time I don't have any shambles so I should run away but instead I chose to do just some bullshit. This works as well, makes it easier, it does a fair amount of more damage. I have my X up and running once again. Now time for the double back into the one button, get the extra hide in. And you can just rinse and repeat this until you beat down every boss. Now, one of the biggest things uh, in this one is whenever a boss actually starts the sequence of his attack, he will move on to the next sequence. So, for instance, uh, his first sequence would be like one shot. Uh, the next one would be an AOE damage, and the next one would be like a grab or some sorts. So, if you can permahide perfectly, he will always stay in the first sequence, which is the shoot. 
Now, if you mess up at some point, he will just go on to the next one, which is the AOE, um, AOE skill. And once again, he will keep into that sequence until you actually mess up and don't get your hide off that fast. So you got to be real on the expectations of what the boss does, because otherwise you can still die. That is basically it for the tips that I can give you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Once again, this was Twebby. Peace.